Alright guys, I got another tutorial video for y'all, and this one is how to install a full Yoshi exhaust on a YFZ450. This one's going to be on Will and Dylan's four-wheeler, and y'all are going to need a metric socket set, Allen key set, ratchet and extension, and a few other things. And we'll just get into it. You're going to want to loosen up that bolt right there as shown, then move to the muffler and take off those two bolts that hold it up. There's a little bit of light for you. You want it just kind of hanging out loose like that. And it'd be handy to have someone or something hold the muffler up while you unhook it from the rest of the exhaust like that. And then you're done with the muffler. And you'll see those boats right there on the header. You're going to want to take those out and then take your header out and then you're done with it. Get your new header and put it in there to where the old one was. And then get those bolts started as shown. Don't tighten them very much. Just leave them pretty loose for now until you get the rest of your muffler on. Then you take the next part of your exhaust and just slide it on there for now like that. We'll get the springs on there once we get the muffler on. And then slide your muffler on and get all the bolts lined up on the holes. And this one right here is going to have a spacer on it. And you're going to move it right there and start it on the hole. And then once they're started, you'll tighten them up. The springs wasn't super easy to get on, but I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Hopefully you can manage when you try to get them on. That one right there was a little bit easier. But now you go back to your header and tighten those bolts up. And with this aftermarket exhaust, the hose and the header are really close together. And to keep from melting the hose, we're going to take the plastics off first, and then we're going to shorten the hose to try to separate it a little bit. And to do this, you move the clamp back, and you just try to cut the hose your best you can. And to keep water from leaking, just cut and move the hose to keep water from leaking out. Just do the best you can. And in the end, we ended up getting it about that far apart, and it was just about touching, so that's really good. And then you just move the clamp back up and you'd be done with it. Then you can take an Allen wrench and put your heat shields on there and put your plastics back on there while you're at it. And there's your finished product on it. We highly recommend that you get a programmer for it. Because if you do not do that, it will not run right. But we'll still start it up and show y'all how it sounds for right now. It looks pretty good too.